welcome back. We've got the Carlisle Castle today. Lost in 1918. Big wreck this one. Over 120 metres long. Shot by a torpedo which resulted in the sinking. And she's made of metal. Here's her position just coming up for you now. She sits just on the edge of the first separation zone off down to the east. And there was one death here and that was the engineer who sadly didn't get out in time. So this original footage is by Andrew Goldby and I'll tag the original video in the description. Really nice wreck to actually look at this one. Sounds a bit weird, but it's a really nice wreck to watch on a dive video. Some videos I watch and see and I study, they're all collapsed in, they're horrible, but this has got a lot on show here, as you can see. I mean, the size of that chain there running through the, uh, the rigging, you've got a bit of rope there, potential snag or a definite snag. But yeah, really enjoyable. Again, caved in here on the deck as you would ex expect. When you get a wreck that's been torpedoed, you can have big explosions, but there is a big anchor. Yeah, big explosions, and you get a lot of twisted metal as a result. And that obviously, one for us as fishermen, creates a lot of snags, but it also is a lot of hidey holes and homes for fish, as you can see here now, all collapsed in. But it still maintains its shape, it's got a lot of shape. Um, so yeah, pretty good wreck and a good structure. Apparently really good for black bream this one. I haven't fished this for black bream, but I've heard some rumors of some very big fish. Uh, a lot of uh, cups and pottery on this one, which is one of the reasons why the divers like it, as well as being a good wreck to dive. But yeah, really big bream. I've had some good pollock off of this this year. I've only fished it once or twice. I haven't ventured too far down to the east, but when I have fished it, we had a double figure pollock and we had some other nice fish off of it as well. Uh, and I know others that fish this quite regularly. So it's a bit of a favorite for a few people, but it's a well-known wreck, hence why I'm doing this video. Now, a lot of it here, some in portions of it, it's quite flat, uh, and you can actually drop a bait onto it quite nicely. And I'll show you how it lays and uh, in the tide and that in a minute. But in areas of this well, you could drop a nice conga bait down and actually be quite safe. And in other areas like here, it's just a no-go zone. But there is eels on it, as you're going to see in a minute in the video. But primarily, I think this is known for its bream and its pollock. Now, another thing I like the look of this wreck is here. In, inside the wreck itself, in the centre of the wreck, you've got these large, almost like sheer walls of uh, en engine bays, metal, cargo holes, whatever it was. But they create a really nice feature and you can see now look pollock swimming around them lots of bait fish lots of pout but yeah in this wreck here as well as having a great structure to it big high sides you've also got big high sides within the high sides if that makes any sense whatsoever plenty of fish and here you can see look, lots of little pollock swimming about plenty of pout really really nice wreck now coming up one thing to be aware of there's a lot of trawl net on it like a lot of wrecks there's a piece here and you'll see a bit more in a minute but very very old trawl net but it's there nonetheless and of course this wreck video wouldn't be a wreck video without a congreal making an appearance and here he is one of many on this wreck i'm sure and again here comes a bit more trawl net now just making you aware of what's on it so if you do start snagging in and you're getting that bit where you can lift it up and you can feel it moving it's probably a bit of this net it is historic net it's not new so you might be able to pull out of it looking at it but it is very big and stringy, as you can see. Coming on to the Navionics view, as always, then. This one sits northeast to southwest, and that's the stern there at the northeastern edge, by the looks of it, looking at the shape of the boat. But, yeah, it sits with the tide, this one, so although it makes it more difficult to anchor, it does sit bang on in line with the tide, pretty much, if you're down Eastbourne Way. So on a flood tide, you will actually be able to get a full run down one end to the other, and on a flood tide, opposite way, you can do exactly the same thing. And interesting, it sits on loads of sand ripples around here. I haven't drifted any baits over this ground, but I'd imagine there's some nice flat fish and a lot of gurnards and stuff kicking around here. And you can also see, if you look behind the wreck itself at the top of the page, you can see the scowl where the boats hit the bottom and then drifting along the bottom before settling, which I find interesting. But if you fish this, good luck. I know I do, and enjoy.